Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. In today's video, we're discussing Rosemount's Differential Pressure Level Transmitters, specifically Rosemount's 3051 SAL Level Transmitter. Now, before we can dive into this product to get a better understanding of its use, we need to understand how we can actually use a differential pressure transmitter in order to measure the level in your vessel. So we're gonna go back to some basics here. We're gonna go through some algebra. So be warned if math is not for you, stay tuned for the next video where we exclude the math. So let's look at this example here of where we drop a can into a vessel of water. Now, why are we doing this? Well, I wanna give you a basic understanding of pressure and how we can equate pressure into a level reading. So this can that's in this vessel is going to have some body of water or whatever else the product is above it. Okay, and the volume of that is just going to be the surface area of the can multiplied by the height of the liquid above there. Okay, and that is what is going to be applying force on the can because you have that water which is being pulled down by gravity and now that pressure is being exerted on the can. So the simple equation for pressure is force over an area and the force in this case is going to be the mass of the water above it multiplied by gravity which is pulling it down. Okay, so that's all we do here in order to convert the force that is being applied to the can is simply the mass of the water above it multiplied by the gravity. Okay, but we also know that the mass of the water above this can is also just equal to the density of the water multiplied by the volume of water above it. As we said, the volume is the area multiplied by the height. So what we can do is we can further simplify, even though I know it looks like we're making things more complicated, by subbing in the volume as equal to the surface area by this height. And why do we do this? Because now we can cross out terms and the pressure exerted on that can is proportional and equal to the density of the water multiplied by the height of the liquid above that can multiplied by gravity. And this is super important because you'll notice that the pressure exerted on the can is not dependent on the surface area. So what this means is that if you have a vessel that's five feet wide or 50 feet wide, if both of those vessels have 10 feet of product, they will both see the same amount of pressure above them. So what we can do is we can put a pressure transmitter, which is going to read the pressure that the transmitter sees at the bottom of this vessel. And all we have to do is take that value, divide by the density multiplied by gravity, and you are left with the height of the product in the vessel. Now that's for vessels which have are open to the atmosphere. Okay, and that is how we can use a pressure transmitter in order to monitor the level in a vessel. If you have any questions about Rosemount's differential pressure level transmitters, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.